The Hawaiian Islands lie 2,400 miles from the nearest continental landmass and extend approximately 1,400 miles as an archipelago in the middle of the North Pacific Ocean. Obake, or Ghost Turtles of Hawaii, shows two groups of interesting turtles, one group at the Big Island in the south and one group at Midway Atoll in the far north. Wainanalii Pond at Kiholo Bay on the island of Hawaii is the remnant of an ancient Hawaiian fish pond almost totally filled in by the 1859 eruption of Mauna Loa Volcano. The pond is the primary resting site of juvenile and sub-adult turtles. One can often see young animals swimming near the surface during the day. But most turtles spend much of their day out in the shallow waters of Kiholo Bay feeding on limu or algae, coming in at night to rest in the pond. In the last five years we have witnessed an increasing number of turtles that crawl out of the water and lay quiescent in the midday sun. It is known that they are also emergent during nighttime hours on occasion, but the relative distribution of basking behavior is presently unknown. What is unique about this basking situation at Kiholo besides the unusual behavior, is that the turtle's carapace is covered with a thin layer of sediment from the lagoon. When the turtles are observed in the water, they look quite normal. When they have been basking for a period of time, the hot sun dries their shells and they turn a ghostly white. Many tourists and residents alike, upon first observing basking turtles at Kiholo, think that they are dead or in serious trouble. Oftentimes they'll call us explaining that there's an injured or dead turtle on the shore. Of course, this is rarely the case. This little fellow has been out of the water for some time and epitomizes the Obaki turtles of Kiholo. These basking animals are seemingly sound asleep and don't take notice of anything around them. If they are bothered by humans, they may simply ignore them or they may make their way back into the water. As the Obaki turtle slowly makes its way back into the water, it is transformed back into a Hawaiian turtle of Kiholo. During a recent tagging trip to the other end of the island chain at Midway Atoll, George Palaz and a research team from the Hawaii Preparatory Academy captured and tagged green turtles around Sand and Eastern Island. During our work there, we tagged some 26 animals. One of the areas where Balaz had found turtles resting during earlier work nearly two decades ago was a structure known as the cargo pier. This pier was built over the remains of a pre-existing pier and is the area where we ran into the second set of Hawaiian Obake turtles. The area under this cargo pier is littered with upright and horizontal steel I-beams, creating a multitude of nooks and crannies. The first time we dove this site, it was night, and the impression that we got during the dive was one of mystery and surrealism. Located inside the Atoll Lagoon, the visibility is rather poor and the water is loaded with sedimentary particles. During the day, it simply looks a little murky and somewhat eerie. 
There are lots of fish in and about the submerged structures, and you even find an occasional white-tipped shark or two resting on the bottom. As we swam through the structure, we came across an occasional turtle resting on the I-beams. At night, the cargo pier takes on a totally different atmosphere. The sediment, which was see-through during the day, becomes a heavy snow in the lights at night. It is truly like diving through a snowstorm. As we proceed through the maze of girders and cross beams, we begin to come across resting turtles. Some of them are small and tucked neatly into little garages with room to spare. Some of the larger critters have to put up with a bit of overhang, given that they don't fit into the garages easily. Most of the turtles pretty much ignore our lights and commotion as we pass by, being content in the security of their little condos. Every once in a while, one finds a turtle that has misjudged her size, or the size of the resting site. Still. Although the situation looks uncomfortable to us, it seems to be perfectly satisfactory for this mature lady. As we passed through the length of the pier, we occasionally came across turtles that we had captured and tagged earlier. We recognized them by the numbers we had painted on their carapace. These numbers rub off in a few days, but they were sure helpful to us during the trip. One of the things we noticed was that these recently tagged turtles were a little more wary than untagged ones. They tended to want to leave the resting sites upon our approach. The way these turtles appeared and disappeared during the dive and the eerie diving conditions led us to name the midway turtles Obake turtles. The dive always ended with the participants raving about the unique diving conditions and the mysterious Obake turtles that reside there. It is truly a magical place.